Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission has vowed to address proven irregularities in the just concluded governorship and state assembly elections across the country. The commission gave the assurance on Sunday through its national commissioner, Festa Sokoye, who addressed the press in Abuja, noting that circumstances beyond the commission's control impacted some of the processes. He lamented that some INEX staff were victims of violence, harassment, abduction, and the death of one. Okoye showed the public that the commission was keeping its eye on areas where elections did not hold. There were places where elections did not take place and there were places where deployment did not take place. Uh, so in those areas, you don't expect any result uh, to be uh, uploaded uh, to the INEC Resolve Viewing Portal uh, for, such, um, uh, for, for such areas. Uh, so uh, the Commission, uh, before we reconfigure the, the beavers uh, for the governorship and state assembly election, we made sure that every data that was left behind in the beavers uh, relating to the presidential and national assembly election was pushed to the back end uh, for purposes of um, getting, giving those who want to go to court or giving litigants the opportunity of having the data from the back end of the commission relating to those who were accredited uh, during the presidential and national assembly elections. Uh, so we don't have any data as of today uh, remaining in the beavers. Every data has been pushed uh, to the accreditation back end and political parties and candidates have been applying for this particular data and the commission has been making the accreditation data available to uh, all those who are in interested. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.